New details now following Saturday night's wild scene in the heart of South Beach. The stabbing of a police officer leading to a barrage of bullets on busy Ocean Drive. The suspect is dead. The officer is recovering at Jackson Memorial Hospital. And CBS 4's Peter Dench is there live with the very latest for us. Peter. Well, Elliot and Ruta Bay Officer Ricardo Castillo may need two more surgery, sources tell us, because one of his arteries was cut. He's been with Miami Beach Police for three years, was with FHP for four years before that. Now, he has received exceptional service awards, as well as letters of commendation and appreciation. Cell phone video shows tense moments before Miami Beach officer Ricardo Castillo was stabbed at 49-year-old Ryan Sims is shot and killed. It's just after 9 Saturday night at 10th Street and Ocean Drive. Sims is tased and falls to the ground. You hear several shots. It stops for a few seconds and police open fire a second time. It's not clear when Castillo was stabbed and what led police to interact with Sims. Police released this video showing Sims a block away on Ocean Drive outside Mango's Tropical Cafe. They say he is brandishing a knife in his right hand while threatening a security person there. I believe was handled in uh, a very gentle and very proper way by uh, my security. Talked down into uh, no violence. David Wallach, the owner of Mangos, says the situation could have been much worse. A person who was obviously with mental, mental disabilities and wielding a very, very dangerous butcher knife. On Facebook, Sims's sister posted, praying to understand how this could happen to you. Anyone who knows Ryan Sims is aware that he was a gentle giant with a soothing soul. For these two officers to keep shooting while he was on the ground, your action is deemed excessive. But Wallach feels police acted properly. They took the proper action in preventing what could have been certainly a serious problem for anybody. On Monday, Miami Beach police officers stopped by the Ryder Trauma Center to visit and show support for Castillo. Now, Castillo was also an officer of the month once for helping capture two men who were wanted for the theft of high-end watches. FDLE, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, is investigating this police-involved shooting, which is standard procedure in such cases. We are live at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.